Before I tackle any of this mess, and there's a lot of mess to tackle here, this is what was spread all over my very small bedroom, but before I even start putting it away, I am going to light a candle because life is short and you should light the candle first. So I'm starting with my clothes, getting it all put away. I have had a nasty habit of just getting undressed at night, tossing it on the floor, or it's on my bed and then I toss it on the floor so I can go to bed. I'm telling you, you know how I've talked about how we all have green energy levels, yellow energy levels, and red energy levels, just like a stoplight. So when you're green, you're go. When you're yellow, you're kind of fizzling out a little bit. And when you're red, there's just nothing that can get done. Well, at night, I'm in the red zone as soon as supper is over. So I had this picture of my sisters and I when we went on our cruise. I think it was last year that we went on our cruise. It was my very first cruise, one of the highlights of life. It just was everything. And we got this picture, and I have never put it in a frame. So I went all out, man. I went to Dollar, actually the Dollar Tree, got myself a, you know, $1.25 frame, which is actually just perfect. It's nice and lightweight too, I must say. And so I'm finally, after a year, getting this photo put in a frame. Look at us, we're so cute. And now I can have that beside me when I'm doing my editing and I get to see my sisters who live in Florida and of course I live in Maine. Then I had my husband's clothes that I'm putting away for him. I actually had folded them I think yesterday and they were on the bed and he didn't put them away and then they were on the chair when I went to bed and now they're here and I'm just putting them away for him. <laughs> He's been doing a lot of dishes for me lately so I would gladly take putting this laundry away over doing dishes any I have a lot of, of pans the on the fire in on my Sunday. home a lot of things that I'm trying to get done I'm trying to keep my house clean I'm trying to do the spring clean I'm trying to completely refresh and go through each room and you know cover any holes do any patch painting and that sort of thing I'm also um, trying to redo our upstairs bathroom I'm also decluttering all of our storage areas so I have a lot of pans on the fire and it actually is a good thing for me. I do better kind of rotating around than focusing on one thing and just doing that, which kind of tells you more about me that I might want to share, but it kind of works out for videos because then you're not watching the same video every single day. But let me know, would you rather see all the spring cleaning and then all, all, you know, no, never mind. That would never work. <laughs> That's the thing. It just wouldn't work. It doesn't work for me either in my life. I'm not going to get the whole basement decluttered. So you would never see that all at once because it happens in layers. And sometimes I just need a break from something even when I really want it done. So I have a bad habit of when there's a lot of clutter and say company is coming, I will make a clutter bag or a clutter box where I just gather all the clutter, throw it in a box. Now that would be fine if I took care of it that day or the next day, but that's not what happened here. So I had put everything in a box, thrown it on my floor, and then some stuff got thrown around the box, and that's how we ended up with this mess here. A lot of it is paperwork. It needs to be filed. Some of it needs to go to my husband. We have a medical savings account. It's part of our medical plan. Uh, I miss my old HMO. Let me tell you what. But... Anyway, you have to, you know, you have all these bills. You can either pay them online or you can pay the bill to the doctor. You can get reimbursed. So my husband takes care of all that since he works for the company and he knows what he's doing. So I had these set aside for him and then it never happened. And so I'm setting them aside again and getting rid of the ones that we don't need. So once he has paid something, he'll write the date on it that he paid it or the, write the date that he got reimbursed. That way I know. And so I might keep them for a month or so and then I get rid of them. Now this was something I had decluttered that I have in my hand. It was my grandmother used to tat. If you don't know what that is, if you don't know what tatting is, look it up. It's like a very fine embroidery, beautiful. And her tat shuttles, I am gifting to my oldest sister. Her daughter had learned how to tat when she was in a teenager. She taught herself. So I'm giving those to my sister and then she can decide if she might like to keep them and display them or if she might like to pass those on. So I'm going to mail those to her in that poofy envelope.
When I was in the working world, actually when I was young, when I got past the supermarket worker age, I went into banking. And one of the things they used to complain to me about during my performance reviews was that I would get many tasks out at once and I would not stick to one thing, but I would be rotating through those tasks so they would all be out. And it was 1000% true about me. And I did try to work on that, but I am very abstract and random. So today, well, if, yeah, if that had been today and I was a kid, maybe they would have diagnosed me with something that starts with an A and ends with a DD. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is I work for myself now. I am self-employed as a YouTube content creator, so I get to do all the rotating around I want to do. So there we go. I get to be me, and it feels really good to just get to be me. And I do try to rein myself in just a little bit, enough so that there's not total chaos all over the house. So of course I was throwing things away, and I noticed there's not much that can go in this trash can. We are the human compactors. Oh my goodness, by the time I pull a trash bag out, it probably weighs 40 pounds. So sometimes I have to get somebody's help. So sometimes my daughter Rachel will come in and she'll hold the trash can down while I pull the bag out, not even lying. And you can see the rolled up paper in that blue bucket. That's from the wallpaper in the bathroom, the peel and stick. So that needs to be thrown out too, which I don't do right now. I'm just getting it to the point where I can throw something away. And this trash can, I really need to replace it. They don't stay good long. I got it at Walmart. I like it that it closes nice. I like it that it's stainless steel, but it kind of got a little rusty and such too. So I think what I'm going to do is get a new trash can for my kitchen. And then this one's going to go downstairs for my returnable bottles. See, this is the thing. I have to use a certain size bag for the returnable bottles for my grocery store and I put their bag tags on that have a barcode so they know it's mine and then I take that money when it comes you know what usually a couple times a year I'll cash it all in usually it's when we're having company and I want to do a special dinner I will cash all my bottle money in and use it for my groceries but anyway, I say that to tell you, I do have to use a certain size can if I'm going to put a bag in a can. Anyway, I was just showing you two things that I am decluttering. One is a pop socket and it has like a string that you could put it around your neck, which I'm not going to put my phone around my neck. And the other one was I tried to get a cover for my phone or excuse me what is it for my airpods and i got the wrong size so that needs to be returned anytime i do anything i am always on the lookout for anything that needs to leave the house and i do keep a box or a bag by the door and i just keep adding to it and then my current solution is every wednesday i have a bible study with a woman in my church and I will drop by the Goodwill on my way home and drop off anything I have decluttered that week. And that is really working for me because I don't want to take time to make a special trip where it's 35 minutes one way. So now I'm celebrating the fact that I cleaned off my floor by vacuuming all the little whatevers that are on this floor. I absolutely love this flooring. I believe we got it at Lowe's. So much better than what I got at Lumber Liquidators. It has lasted for years and it has taken flooding from my washing machine, all kinds of traumatic events and has stayed without warping or anything. It must be Pergo is what I'm thinking. Or, and if it's not Pergo, it's something very much like Pergo. Not as bad as I thought. So I had some things that need to be filed. I have some pictures that need to go with the pictures. And mail that needs to go out. And then little odds and ends that I think I'll get rid of, like this little thermometer. This is my husband's, I need to get that to him. This I'm gonna be using in the kitchen, as well as my labels that I need to find a place for. 
Yes, that's my daughter's. This is actually my bathroom flooring. This is what I have chosen for the upstairs bathroom floor. I liked the marbling effect. There she blows. So I'm just going to get these few things picked up and then I want to make a pot roast for supper and I'm going to cut it, brown it, and put it in the crock pot. I'm, cr I'm cutting it so it won't take as long to cook. So one of the reasons why I am cutting the pot roast is because I really don't want to have to babysit it. I don't want to put it in the oven. So it is already lunchtime and I was thinking, boy, it's really a fat, you'll see, it's a fat pot roast, see how fat it is. <laughs> so I thought putting it in the crock pot, I just didn't know if it would get done in time. So I'm eating my lunch at the same time. This is my Octavia chicken noodle soup, which is my current lunch favorite. And that always, not that there's anything to munch right now, but it does help me when I cook not to be munching on things I shouldn't be munching on if I am, you know, kind of eating at the same time. I'm not going to trim off the fat here either because I feel like that's going to give me some really good gravy. And then I'll just, what happened is uh, some of the fat had separated from the meat. So I just kind of like went through the crock pot before we ate and pulled the fat out and threw it away then. And that worked out really, really well. I didn't have to brown it before I put it in the crock pot. I've done it both ways, but I do feel like it's just a little bit better. Even if it just looks better, it feels almost steamed when you just throw it in the crock pot. You know, just the coloring isn't good. And I think that your brain tells you it tastes better if you brown it first. I don't know if it actually does taste better. <laughs> you can let me know what you think. So browning it on the stove. Oh, and you might remember that I showed you a few days ago. I can never remember what I post when, but I had gone to the thrift store and I had gotten myself a new crock pot from there, or at least new to me, for $15. And it's the kind with the latches. This is me looking for it because my husband put it away and I was on the wrong side of the island. It's on the other side of the island. <laughs> Boy, do I want another shelf in this island. But anyways, I digress. I got that out. It has the clips on it so you can seal it. I hadn't even turned this thing on yet. So it's kind of one of those, let's see if it heats up and if it actually works. And it worked like a dream. I also want to share, because I'm going to do this soon. I need to write it down so I'll remember, but it was missing one of the little feet on the bottom. So you can kind of rock it back and forth a little bit. But one of you told me, just take some, uh, a glue stick and make a little foot with the glue. So I'm definitely going to try that. I always appreciate the suggestions. I'm putting a liner in because I don't like to scrub a crock pot, but if you don't want to put a liner in, it's always good to give it a quick spray. And here I am with my old lady eyes trying to see how to turn it on high. <laughs> I feel like I could get more than one meal out of this. So let me know. What do you like to use leftover pot roast for? I'm also going to cut these two onions and throw them in as well. I noticed they needed to be cooked, so I'm going to put the onions. Okay, I'm I do love onion in my pot roast and sometimes I will throw the potatoes and the carrots or whatever vegetable we're having right in with it. I wasn't doing carrots on this night so I didn't do that and I also had where I had never used a crock pot before this particular one I thought ah, I'm not going to do that. Hey if you're enjoying this video if it's giving you some motivation for some of you it gets you up and moving for others it gives you some relaxation which I totally understand I use these for both then go ahead if you haven't and click on the subscribe button so that YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video and become part of the Mater Mom family. So that's what I'm looking for on the outside of these. Once they were brown, I threw them into the crock pot and then I put it on high. So it's about noon and as soon as I'm done with this, actually no, as soon as I'm done with the bathroom, Yvonne and I are going to be going to Home Depot. And then when I got home, which was, I want to say four o'clock, I saw that it was completely cooked and I put it on low.
So I got my pot roast sliced up, onions, I got my beef broth, salt and pepper, that's it. I had dropped some onion skins on the kitchen floor and it was kind of dirty anyway, so I decided I would give it a quick sweep. Of course, I'm going to pick a video to listen to. I always pick someone chatty when I am doing this sort of work. So I think, I know I listened to Danny rearrange. Uh, she's been doing her bathroom and sometimes I'll listen to Kimi Cope, but I usually do Kimi Cope when I'm watching. I might've put in Michelle from my everyday wife life. These are just the ones I have listened to or watched in the past couple of days. Also Marina from Fearlessly Created. She put up a video last night, so I wouldn't have been watching it yet. Also, do you see that white bag behind me on the floor, right by my feet? That was actually the sticky paint that I had. I decided to keep it just until I got some new paint, just to make sure because sticky paint's better than no paint at all, or at least that's what I was telling myself. Also, if I needed to get another sample to Sherwin-Williams, I would be able to just, you know, paint a stick or something and bring it into them. So I also was noticing as I swept the floor that it really needed to be washed again, which I just did a week ago. This floor shows literally everything, which is a good thing in a way, because at least I'm not, you know, letting it go too far. But I just was not up for getting out the steamer. So what I ended up deciding to do was spot cleaning the obnoxious spots that I saw and I will save the steaming for another day. Plus, I don't want to steam this laminate flooring too terribly often. I have already seen it's not overly durable. So I am trying to be careful. You know, it's had some nicks and chips and the problem with the gray is under the gray is a brown color. So as far as the coating, as soon as that gets chipped, it's super duper obvious. I might get a paint match to fix those chips. Whenever we work in here, I always need to come back in and clean afterwards. So I'm telling myself that if I get this clean, then I can go to Lowe's. So that's my reward. I am loving this white interruption here. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. So here I am doing the bathroom now. Yay, I'm cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't that bad. You just have to kind of turn a blind eye to all the paint tape and the fact that it is a half remodeled bathroom. Whenever I clean, if I'm not listening to a YouTube video, I also love praise and worship music. And I found a new song and I heard this woman's voice is so beautiful. I love Jesus with my whole heart and God has never let me down. He has helped me through all the struggles of life. Do my problems and no, I have the same problems as everybody else, the same traumas. Everybody's got stuff, but I am so thankful to God. He gets me through every day and through the things I need to get done. It's not always, I don't always get done what I want to get done, but I trust God that I get done the things that he intended for me. So I'm going to play this song for you as I work.
He's escaped from our DIY. Yeah, now it's time to get all this up. And it's also on the radiator too. These are on the floor from, I took a shower and realized that it needed to be wiped down. So I was just like throwing these out on the floor. Best part of cleaning the bathroom is when I know I'm about done. And I do love having cleaners right there in the bathroom so I don't have to go hunting. I try to keep cleaners in the areas wherever we're going to use them. So I have cleaners in my downstairs bathroom, cleaners under my sink in the kitchen, cleaners here. I have overflow cleaners in the closet that is right beside the bathroom where we keep our towels and such. Then I also have cleaners, let's see. Uh, the Oh yeah, in my pantry on the floor is where I keep the overflow cleaners. I used to keep them in the basement, but as I declutter more in the main house, I try to bring as much as I can up from the basement so that, you know, it's more of a realistic, this is what fits in my house and so this is what I'm allowed to have rather than just having overflow of any old thing in the basement Then I never make the tough decision on do I really you know, use this enough for it to take up real estate in my home. Because quite frankly, you see those storage units that you can get. You know, my basement is the entire foundation of my house. I have about two storage units worth just under the cathedral ceiling room, the office room. That's not even counting the whole basement. And yes, I don't have a shed. I don't have a garage but I still have a ton of storage and I just want to make sure I'm not delaying decisions by keeping stuff up there. Oh, that is as blessed as this house is getting today. <laughs> and now I'm going to fulfill my promise to myself and go enjoy a relaxing stroll at Lowe's. <laughs> Over here. Oh. Wow. And then 
the dryer. How does it not like this? Let me show you, I'm going to show you my little Lowe's haul. So I got some semi-gloss for the trim work in the bathroom. And then I got this for over there because <laughs> I already have one for the square that right there. I have one for that. And this is because this little cover chipped in our upstairs bathroom. And then what's this? Oh. A switch oh for that <laughs> oh wow yeah so this will go in this I'm okay and then last but not least I just opened one where to go oh here it is and then my daughter Rachel I'll show you a picture I got her a wooden bureau which I'm pretty sure I've shown before uh, and it turned out that it was green with some white trim. Her and I repainted it, same color. We had it match at Sherwin Williams, and then she made an art project in it, art project out of it, which I will put up right here. And then, isn't it beautiful? I got her these knobs at Lowe's to use as the knobs on the bureau drawers. So. I'm going to bring those up to her. She's going to be very excited. All I have left to do is cook my potatoes. I'm going to boil them, mash them. And because I have a daughter who is dairy free, I don't use milk and I don't use butter. What I do use is chicken broth and everyone likes that very much. Uh, I could use garlic and vegan butter, but that's just not what they prefer. Anyways, I was doing a whole five pound bag of potatoes because I was thinking that would give me enough extra to do a shepherd's pie. Caricia has been craving shepherd's pie, so I wanted to do that in a couple of days. But as I was boiling the potatoes and getting the veggies on, my daughter who had drama practice after school was asking if she could have a friend over after drama practice, so I knew they would come hungry. So I was thankful that I had something on where I didn't have to worry about having enough food. So I was able to say yes to her for that. That was nice. But I don't have potatoes now for my shepherd's pie, <laughs> which is a great recipe for when you have leftovers. That's kind of the purpose is I've been showing you things that don't take as much money and are money conserving. These potatoes were on sale. I kind of feel like they were $2.99 for a five pound bag, which is a good price. And so I felt like I fed seven people for about $20 because it was like $17 for the pot roast, $3.00 for the potatoes and then I probably used about three dollars in vegetables so it was like less than twenty five dollars seven people I thought that was pretty good I mean way better than if I would have ordered pizza for everybody I'm using the Pampered Chef garnisher to cut up these potatoes I love it because when I use my knife to cut up potatoes the potatoes always stick to the knife which I find kind of annoying I rinse these potatoes twice once when they were whole and now once when they're cut up so that it's not super starchy so I'm draining them and then I'm going to put them on the stove and boil them then they'll be ready to mash I just use a hand masher and I keep adding chicken broth until I feel like the consistency is good now I'm going to thicken my pot roast with cornstarch I prefer cornstarch over flour besides the fact that I have one daughter who is gluten free you just use a lot less cornstarch and if you have to use I have a lot of broth here so if you have to use flour to thicken sometimes if you use too much flour you taste the flour and I am not in love with that taste so I much prefer using cornstarch I did two or three tablespoons I think two tablespoons here and I'm whisking it in so first I whisk it into cold water and then I whisk it into the pot roast that wasn't enough so then I did it like another three tablespoons with some cold water and I whisked that in and then it was absolutely perfect one of these days I'm going to remember to take a picture of my plate which I forgot on this night I'm so sorry I'll get better I promise tomorrow I'm gonna to be making a tortilla soup so you should see that very soon here on the channel as well Remember, as always, God loves you, and I love you too, and I can't wait to see you next time.